Hi, I'm Lacey Kreiss, a client success leader for Sterling Healthcare. In a recent video from Sterling Healthcare Insights, you heard from Jen Tomasi, who is our head of client success, and she shared some tips to incorporate into your candidate talk tracks during COVID business continuity planning. But on an everyday basis, your talk tracks to candidates remain important. So in this video, I will share some best practices on this topic. Let's first look at some common scenarios across organizations when an offer of employment is made. In the days that follow a candidate's acceptance of your organization's offer, there will be plenty of communication that hits your talent's personal email with information or requests ranging from paperwork to complete, instructions for their first day, and of course, the invitation to begin the background screening process. With candidate experience so paramount, Let's talk about one factor that influences an easy to follow pre onboarding process and what you can say to prepare your talent. When you are extending your verbal offer or are in receipt of an accepted offer, the perfect opportunity exists to coach your talent through what will be next in the process. Here are some suggestions. Explain to your talent that they'll receive an email invite from Sterling to start the background screening process. Tell them you have a few important tips to allow the process to go smoother and quicker. Consider instructing them to provide their legal name as opposed to a nickname. And if they graduated under a different name, they could provide their alias or maiden name in the alias name field under education. Additionally, you may want to underscore the importance that they provide the name of the company they previous worked for that appears on their W-2 um, in addition to the employer's street address. If you have an adult or child abuse search in your program, you will want to prepare your candidates to either complete the required consent form electronically in the portal, or make them aware that they will receive a follow-up from Sterling to provide them with the form to complete. The method by which they complete this form may depend on what the state will allow. A similar talk track would apply for fingerprinting services as well, with the exception that with fingerprinting, your candidate will always receive a follow-up email from Sterling. These follow-ups for both fingerprinting or abuse services come about 24 to 48 hours after your talent submits their information through the portal. If you have drug or employee health screening services in your program, then you'll also want to explain to your talent that they will be receiving an electronic chain of custody form from Sterling with the required documentation and instructions to take with them into the clinic. And in the spirit of repetition, there are two places you can try to capture the elements of your talk track in writing. After you verbally share these suggested tips, it's a best practice to ensure your welcome email and the email inviting them to start the background process, which is either sent from Sterling or maybe your ATS, also covers many of these same points. As a follow-up to this video, you can also work with your Sterling client success partner to enhance your welcome email and the Sterling email as appropriate and to develop the right talk track for your candidates because every program has its own unique elements. Or you can always reach out to Sterling Healthcare at sterlingcheck.com. And again, that's sterlinghealthcare at sterlingcheck.com with any questions. 